Fiona has got the type of personality that is very empathetic and that's what you need with workers' compensation. You're dealing with people's lives, you're dealing with financial issues, you know, it it's, encompasses everything, encompasses their home life and Fiona's got a very good grasp on where she is with all those people. My approach to injury management is I look at the individual needs of uh, the person I'm, I'm talking to. Every case is unique. There's nothing standard about injury management. There's some guidelines that the insurer and eye care will provide, but you're dealing with humans. Within the hospital environment, I find that preventative measures and safety is extremely important. Without our staff, whether they are cleaners or doctors, we can't run this hospital in a successful manner, which we do. So I injured myself, spare of the moment. Um, I was leaning down to clean one of the cabinets and it had the break on. And I just twisted funny and I thought, oh, that'll be right. Went on lunch with the girls chatting. I thought, oh, I best get back went to stand up and I actually couldn't stand up. I mean, it affected me in loads more ways than I thought possible. I thought, oh, you know, I've just hurt my back. It'll be fine, but I ended up going to physio for a very long time. I had to go to counselling, which I didn't expect either. Through our member benefits team, we ran a training group for Fiona. So Fiona brought in all her uh, HR managers and return to work coordinators in New South Wales. The plan is not about just putting them back and returning them to work. It's about actually making sure that they've got everything in place to keep them there. And if that means that equipment needs to be purchased or they need to you know, go to the physio a couple of times a week, then I think a business needs to make allowances for that. I wasn't aware of how easy it was to hurt myself. I mean, I do the same job every day, five days a week, but I didn't know, for example, how dusting or cleaning the bathroom could injure you in such an impact that six months later you're still rehabilitating yourself. We do these things so quick and so frequent that I think we weren't aware that it can impact our life outside of the hospital. I would say the way that Fiona has um, managed her staff is by the, the way she communicates. So Fiona might be down in the laundry or down, uh, you know, in the, the food catering services area and just watching things and making sure that risk reviews are being done and she's talking to them about any issues. My job means a, a heck of a lot to me. I love the work I do. I love seeing people succeed, uh, whether it's my own team or injured workers or managers and supervisors. I've worked in other organisations who talk about caring for their people, but this organisation clearly does and you can see it. I thought there was such a big organisation that they probably wouldn't care if one person hurt her back. But they actually stepped up. The managers couldn't have been better every day checking in, offering if I needed help, giving me time to go around my physio appointments. And just the fact that even additional training they'd organised for the whole environmental services after I'd hurt myself, knowing that it wasn't just the fact that I'd hurt myself, they wanted to make sure it didn't happen again.